Welcome back for the second time tonight from Mars High School, north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The NFHSnetwork.com presents the boys' AA, PIAA soccer semifinal, matching the top seed, Quaker Valley, against Shadyside Academy. Ten days ago, these two schools met for the boys' WPIAL championship, and the Quakers won that one. We'll take a break and come back with more after this. This event is brought to you by Olive Garden. Olive Garden is proud to be the official dining room of high school sports. With menu choices to please the entire family, as well as to-go and catering options, it's the perfect restaurant for your post-game dining. To find your nearest location or to order your meal online, visit olivegarden.com. Pasta lovers, raise your forks. It's Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl starting at $9.99. Enjoy endless combinations of your favorite pastas, sauces, and toppings. And now, for the first time ever, grilled chicken alfredo. Plus, as much salad and breadsticks as you want. Never-ending value, starting at $9.99. The value is never-ending, but the offer is only for a limited time at Olive Garden. Welcome back once again tonight, the PIAA West Final. The winner here in the West will move to Hershey on Saturday at 1.30 for the championship game. I'm John Sanders. This is our second PIAA semifinal tonight. Shadyside Academy, the girls' team winning the girls' Class A game earlier to move on to Hershey Park Arena, uh, Hershey Park Stadium. So we'll find out who's going to win between the Quakers of Quaker Valley, 19-4-1, and, and the Indians of Shadyside Academy, 16-3 and 1. Quaker Valley, because they won 2-1 to one in the WPI final 10 days ago, will be the home team. They will be in white. Shadyside Academy, the boys trying to match what the girls did earlier tonight right here on this Mars High School field, and that is to win the double-A championship. The girls won the single-A semifinal to move on to Hershey. The boys trying to do the same. Their record, 16-3-1. Ed Ellsworth is their head coach. Andrew Marshall coaches the Quakers of Quaker Valley out of Leedsdale, Pennsylvania. And we are set for the opening kickoff, 40 minutes per half. If it's tied at the end of regulation, we go to two 15-minute overtime periods, but it's golden goal. First team to score in either one of those overtime periods wins the match. And if nobody scores in those first two 15-minute periods, we go right to penalty kicks. So... That's the situation. We are underway. I mentioned these two teams did play 10 days ago. Quaker Valley in white with a throw in on the far side of the field. Dom Lagnese is their goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper is Doran Kozell for Shady Side Academy. Shady Side Academy trying to clear it out of their end, get something going offensively. Kozell, by the way, has 10, excuse me, 12 shutouts on the season. The Indians trying to come back against the Quakers, but the Quakers will control at midfield. Well, that's a long, booming kick that's going to go over the goal line and set up a goal kick. Doran Kozell, the goalkeeper, will handle that. We're just underway. Second minute of the opening half, 40-minute halves. Game was supposed to begin at 8 o'clock. We started the fraction early, did we not, Jim? <laughs> Everybody in a hurry to get going. Warm-up's completed. Let's play. 
It's a beautiful night. Chilly, but certainly not freezing. Scramble is on at midfield. Here comes Quaker Valley down that far side. Cross. Cleared away in front by Shadyside Academy. Losers 2-1 to one, 10 days ago to Quaker Valley. In Quaker Valley, the Quakers advancing with an opening round win over Bald Eagle area 7 to nothing. And then in the quarterfinals, they defeated Carnes City 8-2. to two. So they've outscored the opposition 15-2 to two in the first two games of this PIAA playoff. Meantime, for Shadyside Academy, the Indians defeated Mercyhurst Prep 1-0. And then on the 12th of November, they defeated Beaver 1-0. So they've scored two goals and both teams to the semifinals. The winner will take on Lewisburg or Lansdale Catholic coming up at 1.30 Saturday afternoon in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Ed Ellsworth, by the way, at Shady Side for the Indians in his second season as the head coach. And we do have a player limping off on the far side of the field. Short stoppage in play for that injury. And the goal kick now handled by Dom Lagnes. Breaker Valley trying to control. Some of their players you will notice are wearing gloves here tonight. It's chilly. Trying to protect their fingers. And trying to control there for Shadyside Academy was Eric Farmer not able to do so. And quickly up back the other way, it's Bando Gant. It'll be a free kick coming up now for Will Stewart. And the early advantage in terms of field position has belonged to Quaker Valley. They've been a little more aggressive here in the opening couple of minutes. How to play at midfield. Throw in coming up. Again, it's Will Stewart. And clearing it in deep is Wally Navid. But that is easily handled at the other end by Dom Lagnes. Now Lagnes will clear it back to midfield. Nice spin move that time to keep control for Shady Side. They'll go out of play. Throw in coming up. Handed by Quaker Valley's Fritz Reiter. He'll get to do it again at midfield. A little back heel attempt that time by Carver. Shadyside Academy in the dark uniforms, the dark blue. They lost that WPIAL title game to Quaker Valley, and thus they are the second seed with a 16-3-1 record. Quaker Valley, the Quakers, 19-4-1, following their 2-1 victory over Shadyside Academy 10 days ago in the WPIAL championship game. Throw in on the far side belongs to the Indians. Either team with a real advantage here in the opening five minutes of this semifinal PIAA Class AA. Of course, classifications, if you don't know, are based on the size of the school. And in the boys' division, Shadyside Academy is AA. The girls' team is Class A. That one is run out of play, and it'll be a deep throw-in now coming up. Quaker Valley able to clear. They get it onto the foot of Bando Grant. Long lead comes all the way down deep into the territory and run off the play. Quaker Valley with a quick goal. Beautiful hustle by Quaker Valley to take the lead. Terrific play and excellent hustle that time by number seven. 
What a great job by Ian Rogers to give him a 1-0 lead. Rogers. Ian Rogers just beat the defense and took it in to get the goal. It comes at 545. And a 1-0 lead quickly for Quaker Valley. I told you they've been scoring goals in bunches in this state tournament. 15 goals in the first two games, allowing just two. And still the advantage now to Quaker Valley. Trying to settle his reader. Gets it over to Brando Grant. Grant, double team, still in play, keeps it alive. He tried to go back to him, not able to do it. Good job by John Wicker, number 17, to keep it alive. This is Reeder, ridden off the play, and here comes Shadyside Academy, sliding tackle that time out of bounds. That sliding tackle made by Walter Hubish. Here come the Indians trying to battle back down a goal. The Quakers have a 1-0 lead here in the early going. And they control right now on the foot of uh, Grant. Here's a chance down the near side now for Shadyside Academy. Offside. So let's go back into the possession of Quaker Valley. Lagnese will put it in play. Grant sends it ahead. Back at midfield. Again, it's Hubish, number nine. Gives it up that time on the far side to Farmer. Throw in coming up for Shady Side Academy. We're in the eighth minute of the opening half. 40 minute halves. A 1 0 lead for Quaker Valley. Great hustle, good effort by Rogers to get the goal. Ian Rogers. Coming at 5.45 of the opening half to make it 1-0. It's that way right now. We're in the eighth minute. Opening half. Long way to go. But the Quakers have been on a scoring binge in this state tournament. And again, winning the battle. That one deflected, out of play, and that's going to be a corner kick coming up. Be the first corner of the game. And our opening game was settled on a corner kick in the opening minute. And a 1-0 win for Shadyside Academy. That will go harmlessly out of play. So now the goal kick coming up for Doran Kozell, who had the string of 12 shutouts on the season ended early in this one on the goal by Ian Rogers. Now at midfield. Trying to make a move and do something with it was Brendan Brzezinski, number 15. Quaker Valley will keep it out of bounds. The shady side will put it in play with Will Stewart. Back it goes now to Navid. 
battling hard there was Eric Farmer, or excuse me, Max Farmer. And a golden opportunity here for Shadyside to get back in it. Because Patrick Hill Junkie will handle the free kick. Header brought down in front. Good quick reaction that time. By Doran Kozell. I need to correct that. It was Dom Lagnes in goal who made that save. His team leading 1-0. But a shady side with a free kick. And that'll go all the way down and across the goal line. So it'll be a goal kick coming up. For Dom Lagnes. Controlling on the near side is Reeder. Back to midfield, turning around, making a play is Rogers. He got the goal on some great hustle. Back it goes to Harkins. Harkins with a header, gets it back to midfield. Picked up there by Khalid Bender. And again, a chance for Shadyside Academy. It's kept in play that time. And now a throw-in coming up for Quaker Valley. They lead it 1-0. Still in the opening half of this boys' double-A semifinal. The state soccer championship long headers being exchanged right now between the two teams. The ball has not touched the ground for a while. Kept alive over there that time by Grant. Back the other way. That one's broken up. Played there by Reeder. And now back it comes off the foot of Kleber. The Indians now battling in midfield. Free kick at midfield coming up. Put quickly back in play that time by George Grund. Who touched it last? That's the question. Is it going to be a corner? Yes. So the corner kick is coming up. Brzezinski will take that corner into the middle. It goes still loose. Shady side trying to control. And two players ran together that time. Again centered. And then poked away by Quaker Valley. Cleared but not out. Long kick goes high over the goal and out of play. In the 14th minute of this opening half. Reader on the near side. Looks to the center of the field and Grant. Now down the left side trying to track it down was G Wicker. And a throw in coming up for Quaker Valley. Wicker handles that. No, check it. It's Grant handling the throw in.
Illegal throw in. He didn't keep both feet down. So it goes back. A free kick coming up for Shady Side Academy. The Indians trailing the Quakers. 1-0 in the early going. We're in the 15th minute of this opening half. Battle of number 12s right now at midfield until it's settled. Lead pass is broken up. Racing down that left side now, trying to get to it is Wicker. He will, but it goes right to the keeper. Kozell is there to make the save. Came in with the 12 shutouts on the season. Has already given up an early goal. Shady Side Academy will get it back. 16th minute of this opening half. Back it comes to midfield. Bender had it briefly. It's down in the corner now and goes across the goal line. A goal kick coming up for Shady Side. Lauren Kozell will handle that. Coon able to move it forward, chested down and kept alive now by Quaker Valley as they bring it back to midfield. Still loose and controlled that time by Reem, Ben Reem, number 13. Now the Indians, they tried to leave it that time, could not, but somehow they still control. Picked off by Quaker Valley and brought back to midfield thanks to the play of Owen Harkins. Throw in will go to Quaker Valley. They came out charging early. We are in the 18th minute. Now we're ready, says the referee. Controlling back there is Kleber. Controlled it briefly, but now it'll go back once again to Shady Side Academy. They're down a goal at the 545 mark of this opening half. It was Ian Rogers hustling down to beat the defense and get the initial goal of the game. Another goal kick coming up for Kozell. Belongs to Shady Side Academy. We near the midway point. Of this opening half, we're in the 19th minute. And in front of the goal, they're doing some work on the shoes of the goalkeeper. So apparently a bit of a problem there for Doran Kozell. He's getting an assist from a teammate. They have stopped the clock. There we go.
take care of the goalkeeper. You have to tie his shoe if he has a problem. I don't know whether there's a broken lace or what. Coming up to clear it away was Lagnese. And Quaker Valley tries to control off the foot of Hubish. Quakers control, midfield knocked down with a header. It's gonna go all the way across the sideline. And a throw in coming up. And once again, handled by Fritz Reeder. Fritz just a freshman, Fritz Reeder. This throw in taken care of by da Navid. Scramble for it. And not able to save at that time was Brzezinski. So goal kick coming up for Lagnes. Reader with a throw in. There's a trip at midfield. No card. They're going to give a moment of breathing time to Walter Hubish. He gets up. His team puts it back in play after the free kick. Grant, number 10, had it briefly. Now it goes far side, coming back into the middle. Settled there. Once again, the throw in. We'll go to Reeder. Shady Side Academy trying to clear. Right on the doorstep was Ian Rogers, who got the only goal of this match so far. We're in the 22nd minute. First half, 1-0. Quaker Valley, the top seed in white with a lead. Reversing the play that time was Frankie Fernandez for Quaker Valley. Now controlled by Patrick Hill Junkie. Indians with a chance now as they do some work off the foot of Zhang. Zhang gets it back again. Gives it up that time to Brzezinski. And this one's out of play. And it's going to be Shady Side Academy ball. They'll have the throw in. Handling that now is Shergill. No, oh, no, sorry. Check that. Max Farmer will handle the throw in. Number 18. And it's broken up nicely on the defensive end of it that time by Frankie Fernandez. Reader brings it back to midfield. And once again, it's Fernandez who got a foot on it. Down the near sideline, racing ahead now is Grant. Touched last by Shady Side Academy. So a throw in deep in Indians territory. Now coming up for the Quakers. We'll have another corner. Quaker Valley will have their second corner kick of the night. Cross is headed over the goal. So nothing to show for the two corner kicks for Quaker Valley, but they do have the lead 1-0. What are my numbers? 
Shady Side Academy has not had a corner so far. On a very pleasant and basically still evening, there's very little wind, if any. It's cool, but it's not cold. Bumped ahead that time to the keeper by Duff Kleber. This is Reeder. Broken up at midfield. Shady Side Academy trying to get even for a WPIL championship loss to Quaker Valley. Only time these two teams have played this year. The call goes against Quaker Valley. And they put it on to the leg that time of Patrick Hill Junkie. Moving it back was Max Farmer. But it's Quaker Valley trying to control. Good header job that time by number seven, Ian Rogers, our goal scorer so far tonight. Quaker Valley with a 1-0 lead. And Shady Side Academy with a throw in. 26th minute of the opening half. 40 minute halves in high school soccer. This is the boys' double A semifinal. The winner here will move on to play either Lewisburg or Lansdale Catholic this coming Saturday at 1.30 in the afternoon in Hershey, PA, where all the soccer championships will be contested. Earlier tonight, Shady Side Academy girls team advancing to that championship match with a victory over Greensburg Central Catholic. Second time they had defeated the Centurions in a row. Had beaten them 10 days ago for the WPIAL championship and then beating them in the semifinal earlier tonight right here at Mars Stadium. Mars High School. Once again, here comes Shady Side. It's broken up and driven all the way back to the other end. That's where Kozell will put it into play. The race is on, and Quaker Valley is able to clear. And charging hard down that line was Eric Zhang. He couldn't quite get there to make the play. Still battling. Looks to cross, missed kick in front, still loose. And now Quaker Valley is able to clear. But not for long. So the takedown puts it back into the hands of Quaker Valley, and they want to do it over again with a free kick, not a throw in. Reader will handle the free kick. Quaker Valley leading by a goal. Bender. Racing out to pick it up is Kozell. Doran, a senior. Well, Doran Kozell able to do the job. And Shadyside Academy will have a throw in. We're in the 29th minute of this opening half. Cleared, but not out. Here come the Indians again. Battle continues on the far side. That one goes across the sideline and out of play. But it's a throw in now. For Shadyside Academy. Indians trying to join the girls team in the championship match next weekend in Hershey, PA. And not able to handle the ball that time was Kleber. So the throw in now will be handled by George Groon. Excuse me, that's Brzezinski with the throw in. 
which just kind of trickles back to the keeper. And Lagnes will put that one to midfield. That one caught his arm. So it'll be a free kick coming up for Quaker Valley. In the final 10 minutes of this opening half, Quaker Valley has a 1-0 lead. At the goal at 5.45 of the first half. Offside. The Shady Side Academy will have it again. Down a goal here in the early going. But the Indians not able to clear. So Quaker Valley will get the throw in. That one broken up by Shady Side Academy. So a throw in for Reeder. Some fancy footwork that time to no avail by Grant. But again, the pressure from Reeder and the Quakers. There's a cross and a nice play right in front, and that was off the foot of Ian Rogers, who had the goal, the difference in the game. 31st minute winding down. 40-minute halves. If it's overtime, it's golden goal, but they'll play two 15-minute periods and then penalty kicks. Bump from behind, and that foul is called. So it'll be a free kick in a good spot coming up right here for Shady Side Academy. Header cleared by Quaker Valley. Well, the throw in now coming up. Alex Zhang. No, he's not going to handle it. He'll give it up to Max Farmer. Farmer, just a sophomore. Reader got it back and blasts it away. That one got a direct hit that time on Brzezinski, but he plays on. Bicycle kick brings it back that time for Quaker Valley. And now at midfield, the scramble is on, and the race is on. And fans wanted the handball. They will not get that call against Grant. That's out of play off the foot of Kleber. So here come the Indians. We're in the 34th minute of this opening half. Quaker Valley has the lead over Shadyside Academy and the throw in coming up for the Indians. Whose girls team advanced to the championship game earlier here at Mars High School. With a victory over Greensburg Central Catholic, their second victory in a row against Central Catholic. And deep in Quaker Valley territory now, it's a throw in coming up. Eric Zhang. He tried a little give and go that time by Farmer. Didn't work out. 
broken up by Shadyside Academy and a good job of controlling by Alex Zhang. They are twins, the Zhang brothers. Neither team able to control, and there's a long pass in, headed away by Quaker Valley, offside. We're in the final five minutes of the opening half. A 1-0 lead for the Quakers of Leachdale, Pennsylvania, against the Indians of Shadyside Academy. Both are District 7 schools. That one goes harmlessly over the sideline off the foot of Will Stewart. So a throw in now coming up for Ike. Lagnis, whose brother is the goalkeeper, Dom. Dom is a sophomore, his brother Ike a senior. And for some of these seniors, this is going to be their last game. The winner stays alive in the state playoffs. Right in front. Offside. Look good for a moment, but the Quakers get called for offside. 36th minute winding down of this opening half. 40 minute halves. And they'll put it in play with a free kick. Handled by Doran Kozel. No one got through that time for Eric Zhang. Right in the middle it goes. Demchak had a shot at it. Now the scramble continues on the far side. Out of play. It'll be Quaker Valley with a throw in in the final three minutes of the opening half. Wicker Valley with a 1-0 lead. The goal coming in the sixth minute. That one bounced back up and caught the hand of that time of Shadyside Academy's Latif. The Quaker Valley with a free kick. Just over two minutes remaining in the opening half. As we move into the 38th minute. Controlled now by Ference and cleared. The race was on down that far sideline. But it'll be a goal kick coming up once again for Kozel. Minute and a half remaining in the opening half. We remind you, you're watching live coverage of the PIAA soccer semifinals here on the NFHSnetwork.com. NFHS, NFHSnetwork.com is your source for the most comprehensive coverage of Pennsylvania high school playoff action. For live games, full game replays, highlights, all right here on the NFHSnetwork.com. Little back heel goes out of play on the far side. So deep with a minute to go in the first half, it'll be throw in for the Indians who trail by a goal. Now they're going to correct that, and the throw in will belong to Quaker Valley. They lead by a goal. Here in the final minute, the final 40 seconds, of the opening half. Referee said you were not in the right spot. We'll do it again. About 20 seconds left in the half. And the official is letting them bump and play, that's Ten, for sure. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You can hear the countdown from the PA announcer, and we've played the first 40 minutes. 
is a 1-0 halftime lead. Ian Rogers at 545 of the opening half scored the goal. He simply out-hustled the defense, got it into the net, and Rogers' goal makes it 1-0 at halftime. We'll take a halftime break and come back with the second half in about 10 minutes. Thank you very much for staying with us here on the NFHSnetwork.com. This game is brought to you by Under Armour, maker of the world's best apparel, footwear, and accessories. Check out the full line of performance gear now at UA.com. Under Armour, I will. William Shakespeare said that all the world's a stage and men and women are merely players. But Mr. Shakespeare never met Stephen Curry. Niha, the guy who's in the gym every dang day. Patriot Saint of the underdog, the league's most unguardable player. Bang, he knocks it down. So my apologies to Mr. Shakespeare, because onto the stage of mere players enters the babyface assassin. And he's about to write his own story. Fall back. back, back. All right, this is Adam, take two, Mark. I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do something that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life.
Shakespeare said that all the world's a stage, and men and women are merely players. But Mr. Shakespeare never met Stephen Curry. Nihau, the guy who was in the gym every dang day. Patriot saint of the underdog, the league's most unguardable player. Bang, he knocks it down. So my apologies to Mr. Shakespeare, because onto the stage of mere players enters the babyface assassin. And he's about to write his own story. Fall back. Olive Garden delivers the final moments. Bring home Italian favorites and they'll cheer for you on game day. Olive Garden is the official dining room of high school sports and with the new catering delivery service, you never have to miss a moment. Pasta lovers, raise your forks. It's Olive Garden's never ending pasta bowl starting at $9.99. Enjoy endless combinations of your favorite pastas, sauces, and toppings. And now for the first time ever, grilled chicken Alfredo. Plus, as much salad and breadsticks as you want. Never-ending value, starting at $9.99. The value is never-ending, but the offer is only for a limited time at Olive Garden. We are back and getting ready to start the second half. Both teams are just now making their way back onto the artificial surface here at Mars High School. Our double A boys semifinal for the Pennsylvania State Soccer Championships being played here at Mars High School. Halftime lead belongs to the Quakers of Quaker Valley in the white uniforms, the top seed. They got a goal off the foot of Ian Rogers, who simply scrambled past the defense, beat the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. And then we played the rest of the, the next 34 minutes and 15 seconds scoreless. Shady side in the dark. With these two teams playing for the second time in 10 days as they met in Pittsburgh at Highmark Stadium for the WPIAL Championship. That match was won by Quaker Valley 2-1, to one, and Quaker Valley leads here 1-0. Glad to have you with us tonight on the NFHSnetwork.com. And if you're a high school sports fan, never miss another game. Become a subscriber to the NFHS Network to watch live event coverage, game replays, and highlights from high school sporting events from across the country. Millions of athletes, thousands of games, one destination, NFHS Network. Dot com. We are high school. Quaker Valley will have the kickoff to start the second half with a 1-0 lead. Ian Rogers with the only goal. It came at 5.45 of the opening half. We are now underway in the second half. Shadyside Academy girls earlier tonight advancing to the state championship final with a victory over Greensburg Central Catholic. That final was 1-0, a goal scored in the first minute of the second half. It came at 40-56 of the match. And the Indians made it stand up, but the boys' team is trailing and has since the first six minutes of the match. Another throw in coming up for Shady Side Academy. The goal scorer, Ian Rogers, a junior. Now Quaker Valley trying to get on the attack. And it's broken up nicely that time by Quaker Valley's Nate Carver. And a throw in. Deep in shady side territory now for Quaker Valley. But the Indians are able to clear to midfield. 
Covered there by Ike Nagnes, the brother of the keeper. His brother Dom. And they're coming out to pick that one off. And turn it back the other way is Dom Lagnese. Off the arm and out of play that time as it caromed off the body of Wally Navid. And here's a chance now. That crossing attempt, long crossing attempt, goes out of play off the foot of Grant. Bando Grant not able to keep it in place. And so now the goal kick coming up for Kozell. This is Brzezinski. Or check it, it's Patrick Hill Junkie trying to control, number 19. Still battling. That one will go out of play and be a throw in. Coming up for Quaker Valley. Quakers have the lead here in this boys' semifinal class AA state playoff game. Quaker Valley still not able to clear. And now they do, bringing it back to midfield. The race is on to the far side. Boomed back into play by Nate Carver. And the throw in now by Ike Langnees. Here's a chance. You saw breaking in again was Ike Ian Rogers, who got the game's only goal. He had a decent shot at that one. He was onside here in the first five minutes of the second half. We're in the 44th minute of this match. Quaker's trying to clear. He goes out of play. Throw in coming up for Quaker Valley. And once again with it was Ian Rogers. Streaking down the right side now is Grant to the corner. Can he turn it? It's going to be... It went out of bounds. It will be a corner coming up. And taking the corner is Bando Grant. So Grant with the corner. It's the first one tonight for Shady Side. It's headed away. Excuse me, this third one tonight. The third corner kick for Quaker Valley. There have been no corner kicks for Shady Side, and a loosely played in front, a shot, and a save. Beautiful save that time. That was a wicked shot, and able to make the save was Doran Kozell. But it's going to be another corner, and again that corner will be taken by Grant. So the fourth corner of the night, all belonging to Quaker Valley. Quaker still control. Kozell comes out to make the play and tries to set up his offense. Down a goal here. 46th minute of the match. Go, 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 
And the bumping continues. And no, no fouls called. Now they do call one. It'll be a free kick coming up. For Kleber. Gets it back to Hawken, Harkins. That long pass is too long. Goes out of play. A throw in coming up for Shady Side Academy. Indians trying to get back in it, down a goal. Race is on at midfield. And that one comes all the way down to the keeper. They're right there to make the play as Dom Lagnes. Wicker Valley with a lead here in the second half. Chance to move to the championship game coming up this Saturday against Lewisburg or Lansdale Catholic. Those two teams playing the other semifinal in the East tonight. This is the West final, so to speak. Semifinal of the state. Long shot again off the goal scorer. And it's going to be a free kick. And the penalty was called on Shadyside Academy off the shot by Ian Rogers. And Rogers is going to get another chance here. And it would appear that the free kick is going to be taken by Hubish. Either Hubish or Grant will take it. Big play right here, especially if you're Shady Side Academy. He's going to chip it toward the goal. The header turned away by Shady Side Academy. Good defensive play inside, taken away that time from Hunter, or excuse me, Rogers, who had the goal. And again, the throw in comes for Shady Side Academy. Down a goal. Almost 10 minutes gone in the second half. Throw in coming up for Shady Side Academy by Alex Zhang, who's playing with his brother Eric. They're twins, but the coach says they don't look like twins. You never know it. And a good job right there at that end of the field, again by Rogers, who has the only goal. Quickly back the other way now comes Navid. It'll be a throw-in coming up for Quaker Valley. Quaker's trying to clear. He'll get the throw-in. And they leave it for Ike Lagnes. That foul will be called against Quaker Valley. The foul called on Grant. So it'll be a free kick coming up for Brzezinski. Brendan, a senior midfielder. You'll have the free kick. Touch last. As it goes out of play by Quaker Valley. A quick throw in coming up. We're in the 51st minute of this boys' double-A semifinal. And this will be a free kick. Here come the Quakers, lost at midfield. 
Scrambling for it that time is Navid. Turns it over now to Alex Zhang. And now the Quakers control until it's tapped away. Nice opportunity right here for Zhuang. Zhuang gets in front, still loose. Zhuang, there's a centering pass controlled by Quaker Valley. Excuse me, controlled by the Indians. Quaker Valley still trying to clear, and they will. Try to get that long pass through that time to Rodgers, who has the game's only goal. That will go across the goal line and out of play. Goal kick coming up. So the Quakers will have it. Like knees will handle the goal kick. At this point, with 27 minutes left in the second half, the push forward has really begun for Shadyside Academy as they trail by a goal. Second time in 10 days these two teams have played. Quaker Valley earned the number one seed by beating Shadyside Academy for the WPAIL title on the fifth. Rogers not able to center, goes back and gets it. Keeps it alive for Quaker Valley. They play on. Still not cleared. Broken up and finally cleared now by Navid. And they bring it all the way back to the keeper who has to go to his foot. A golden chance right there for Shadyside Academy, but they weren't able to capitalize. Still over 15 minutes left in this game. And Kozell. Here come the Indians, broken up by Quaker Valley. And still alive by Navid. Not able to control on the far side, goes out of play. Throw in coming up for Quaker Valley. Quakers have a 1 0 lead. First goal scored early, 545 of the opening half. Quaker Valley now will have the throw in on the far side. They're in white as the top seed, thanks to their victory 10 days ago against Shady Side Academy. Both of our games tonight, rematches of the WPIAL championship games. In the girls' Class A, Shady Side Academy, defeating Greensburg Central Catholic, handing the Centurions just their third loss of the season, but beating them for the second time in a row to move to the championship match coming up on Saturday in Hershey, PA. One of these two boys teams will follow and play their game at 1.30 on Saturday in Hershey. Will it be Shadyside Academy or will it be Quaker Valley? Quaker Valley right now with a one-goal lead and controlling. Thanks to the play of Grant, who's had a lot of touches here tonight. That missed kick will go out of play. And the Indians will have it. Go, 
Good job by Ream to get that ball back into play. That pass is going to be way too far and over the goal line. So it'll be a goal kick coming up. In the hunt for that ball was number seven, Rogers, who scored the game's only goal. And a good job of keeping control of the ball by Bando Grant, who's also played very well here tonight. That one will go out of play, and it'll be a throw in for Shadyside Academy. Fifty ninth minute of the match. There's Rodgers again looking for it in the corner. Tries to settle, turn, turn, and finally losing control. Tripping. We'll give it back. And a quick long lead for the Indians, trying to get it forward that time, but were not able to do it. They were looking again for Wally Navid. And a good job that time by Max Farmer to try to get it inside, but then it goes back the other way. So put it again in play is Harkins. No, he's going to leave it for the keeper. Agnes with a long kick that goes over the sideline. Grant gets it back to the middle. This is Rogers. He loses. And it's broken up nicely by Ike Lagnis. The two brothers playing in what they certainly hope is not their final game. Right now, Quaker Valley has the lead. That one comes all the way through. Looking for it that time was Eric Zhang, but he couldn't get to it. And able to clear it across the sideline before it crossed the goal line for a corner kick that time. That means it's going to be a throw in coming up deep in Quaker Valley territory for Shady Side Academy. Near in the midway point of the second half. We are past that, as a matter of fact. In the 61st minute. And that time, Khalid Bender was not able to control, so it'll be a throw-in coming up for Brzezinski. Gets it back, chips it toward the middle. Scramble is on in front of the goal. And fans wanted the foul call, did not get it. For the most part, the referee has let him play here tonight. A lot of bumping and hitting and not too many fouls called, actually. The four goal kicks we've had in the match all belong to the Quakers of Quaker Valley. Subs coming in now. Back into the lineup. Comes Frankie Fernandez replacing Nate Carver. That's for Quaker Valley at midfield. The offside will bring it back the other way. Quaker Valley will try to get something started. Just over 18 minutes remaining in the game. 
Quaker Valley trying to advance to the championship in Pennsylvania Class AA. Cleared. But put back into play nicely that time off the foot of Ike Lagnes. Battling against Hunter. who did not get the call. Excuse me, Rogers, who did not get the call. Ian Rogers, who had the goal. The throw-in belongs to Shadyside Academy. Trying to battle back from a one-goal deficit. They have trailed since the first six minutes. A reminder, though, that tonight's game is also available for all of our subscribers via our mobile website. Log on to nfhsnetwork.com from your smartphone or your tablet to view live games or replays from anywhere. Here's a chance. That one is going to go out of play over the side. So it'll be a throw-in, not a corner kick. The Quakers trying to add to a 1-0 lead. He'll have another throw in. Again, it's out of play. And again, the throw in for Quaker Valley. This is Rogers. Scrambling out that time to pick it off. Doran Cozell. Quick exchange of headers. Now a chance here. Cross, but there's nobody home. Shady Side Academy in the blue. Quaker Valley in the white. Quaker Valley has led since the opening six minutes. The chase is on. Quaker Valley's going to win it. Rogers gets away from one defender. Fires a crossing pass. It goes out of play. Oh, here comes Shady Side Academy again. That was a handball. So Quaker Valley will get the free kick. Inside 15 minutes remaining in regulation. If we go to overtime, it'll be 15 minute periods, two of them, but it is golden goal. First goal wins. Off the sliding play that time of Grant, who has been all over the field. The Indians trying to get something started in their own end. First, they need to clear it out. And they'll get the throw in on the far side. Sliding out to make the stop and the save that time. Beautiful job by Dom Lagnis. It was a golden opportunity right there for Shadyside Academy to get that equalizing goal. And still the Quakers attack.
Here come the Indians. The trip, looking for a foul, no foul called. Back the other way comes Rogers. Well, the call goes against Rogers and putting it in play for Shady Side Academy is Alex Zhang. Clock is going to become a factor here pretty quick. Just about 12 minutes left in the game. Racing forward again, doing a great job is Grant. But now the Indians take over. Shady Side Academy trying to join the girls' team with a trip to Hershey on Saturday. Shady Side Academy girls winning the double or the single A semifinal here at Mars High School earlier. The final was two to one, Quaker Valley beating Shadyside Academy in their WPIAL championship match 10 days ago. That was a Highmark Stadium in Pittsburgh. The battle continues, that goes out of play. And that's going to be a corner kick again. This will be the fifth one of the night coming up for the Quakers. The corner will be taken by Grant. You look for Rogers in front. Cleared, but not out. Well, Kozell had to come up and take care of the ball with just over 10 minutes left in regulation. <laughs> the push is called. But I think only because the player looked directly at the official and said, wait a minute. <laughs> but he did get the call. So Shady Side will have a free kick. And they've got everybody forward. Trailing by a goal. Getting late. Inside 10 minutes left. All the way through and a great save at the end. I think the goalkeeper was screened off that time. But somehow, Kozell was able to come out and make the save and get it back for his team and keep him alive. Quaker Valley with a throw in. 9.23 to play. And the goal scorer is going to go off. I think he's hurting just a little bit. Walking very slowly is Ian Rogers, who had the goal. So he will not be on the field right now here in the closing nine minutes. And we'll come through to the keeper. Big collision and the call goes the way of Shady Side Academy. They'll have a free kick. Handling that is Brzezinski. So this is a chance now with 825 to play in regulation. The Indians are down a goal. Now the Quakers come away with it.
And they've got them spread out right now. Carver had it, working with Wicker. Wicker still battling on the far side. It's loose. Cleared back to midfield briefly. Sang has it. He's bumped. Keeps it alive. Shady Side Academy. Brzezinski trying to make something happen. Loses. Chested down that time by Grant. And this will come all the way up the field. So Kozell again handles that, gets it back to his teammate. Seven minutes remaining. And another free kick in a good spot coming up for Shady Side Academy. Patrick Hill Junkie will handle that. Hill Junkie drops it right in front, cleared by Quaker Valley. Foul was called on Shady Side Academy, and now they put it in play too quickly. We'll do it again. Just over six minutes remaining. <laughs> Header goes all over the crossbar and actually hit the goal post behind the net. So it's a goal kick coming up now for Kozell. Shady Side Academy in the final five and a half minutes trying to make something happen. Again, Navid was in the middle of that for Shady Side Academy. And we'll have another sub coming in. Leaving is Wicker. for Quaker Valley. And coming back into play is Frankie Fernandez who played in the opening half and he's back out there right now in the closing five minutes of regulation. Belongs to the Indians. You can hear their fans in the background saying, hurry up, hurry up. Now, that's what they're gonna have to do. Brzezinski gets it into play. It doesn't stay there very long. Throw in coming up for Quaker Valley. That call goes against Quaker Valley. Throw in coming up, Shady Side Academy. Four minutes and nine seconds left in regulation. The Quakers trying to protect that one goal lead that they've had since the early minutes, and that one is fielded at the other end. So Dom Lagnese gets it downfield. Being chased down there by Carver. And now it goes out of play. Off the foot that time of Daniel Palmer. And now a throw in coming up by Dom Reeder. Now that cross is knocked down and headed back into the middle. So with less than four minutes to play, the pressure is on Shadyside Academy. The Indians trying to join their girls' team in the state final coming up, but they're down a goal, and it's getting late. Three minutes to go. We 
We're in the 77th minute. And right now the Quakers content to clear it and play as much of the match as they can deep in Indian territory. And the official's going to overrule the call that was originally made and give it to Quaker Valley, much to the dismay of Shadyside Academy as the clock continues to roll. Time is running out for the Indians. Back to the middle it goes. Quaker Valley will try to clear and cannot. Indians keep the pressure on. Chipped inside. Now it's cleared out. Minute 43 remaining in regulation. An early goal, 545 of the opening half is the difference in this game. Quaker Valley has led throughout, protecting that 1-0 lead. Looked like a good chance there. The pass a little too far ahead. And so now the Indians will try to hurry back with just over a minute remaining. Broken up by Reeder. Gets it on the wing. Grant takes his time. Back to Reeder. Broken up. Out of play. We're in the final minute. And Quaker Valley has the throw in. Last chance maybe coming up for the Indians. It's out of play. Quaker Valley throw in. 36 seconds remaining. And it just may be that each of our games is going to wind up 1-0. Shadyside Academy, the girls' team, defeating Greensburg Central Catholic in their Class A semifinal. And here in the boys' Double A semifinal, Quaker Valley is getting close to going to Hershey. The countdown is on from the PA announcer, and this one is going to end a 1-0. Celebration time for Quaker Valley. They get the win and the trip to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Back to wrap it up from Mars High School after this. This game is brought to you by Under Armour, maker of the world's best apparel, footwear, and accessories. Check out the full line of performance gear now at UA.com. Under Armour, I will. Celebration is on for Quaker Valley because they are going to Hershey on Saturday to play for the championship in boys class AA for the PIAA soccer championship against either Lewisburg or Lansdale Catholic. It was a goal by Ian Rogers, a hustling goal as he beat the defender, got downfield, beat the goalkeeper at 545, and that is the difference in the game. They make it stand up for a 1-0 victory. That is the final. Quaker Valley 1, Shadyside Academy 0. It's the Quakers advancing to the boys' double-A title game in Hershey, 1.30 on Saturday, November 19th for Jim Carter and Anthony D'Agostino, I'm John Sanders. We say good night from Mars High School on the NFHSnetwork.com.